This coming Wednesday is World Hypertension Day. It's an opportunity to talk about how high blood pressure can impact our health. Dr. Nidhi Kumar is on call this morning with facts about this preventable disease. Good morning to you. Good, Good to see you. So Good let's morning. first talk about how common is this hypertension. Okay, the CDC reports that there's 108 million adults in the United States with hypertension, and that may be a little bit of an underestimation mm. because they just changed the guidelines for what the cutoffs are for high blood pressure. It's actually 130 over 80. So that's pretty low. So there's a lot of people that don't even realize they have high blood pressure and they have it. And lifestyle is a big contributor to this. We're not exercising enough, which leads to obesity. We're the biggest consumers of ultra processed and fast foods. We drink, we smoke, we're under a lot of stress. Why would our blood pressure be normal? So is that why it is so common? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so unfortunate. So what are the effects of not treating it? Okay, so, you know, the effects we hear a lot about are stroke and heart attack increases your risk of those 50%. Mm. But high blood pressure affects every part of your body. 50% of chronic kidney disease is related to high blood pressure. It can cause vision loss. It can cause dementia. And men that have high blood pressure are twice as likely to have erectile dysfunction. So, I mean, this is really something that that affects quality of life in every aspect of life. And what would you say are some of the causes that people might not necessarily think of? Yeah, there's some secondary causes, you know, reversible causes, so you want to look for these things in your life. So tomorrow morning, turn to the person next to you and ask them if you snore. Because snoring could clue you into undiagnosed sleep apnea, which is a major cause of hypertension in this country. Medications, birth control pills, over-the-counter allergy meds, um, even pain medications that have ibuprofen can all elevate blood pressure. And then salt. We consume so much salt. The American Heart Association recommends no more than 1,500 milligrams a day. So if you have a cheeseburger and french fries, you've already exceeded that. Oh, all right, how about decreasing it naturally? There must be some good ways and easy yeah. ways to yeah. do this. So, so no matter what your pressure is, you want to do these things. Avoid processed and canned foods. That's going to eliminate a lot of salt. Avoid high sugar foods, too. You know, it's interesting. We always associate salt with blood pressure, but sugar can actually increase blood pressure as well. Exercise 150 minutes a week. Sleep. When we don't sleep, we increase our cortisol level. That elevates our blood pressure. And then there's some supplements that can have a modest effect on blood pressure. Magnesium and beetroot can lower blood pressure modestly. But before starting any supplement, you want to talk to a healthcare provider. And then finally, manage your stress. That's There's the, a lot, <laughs> lot to, lot to really work through there. But yeah, managing the stress, that's a nice way to start. Yeah. So Dr. Nidhi Kumar, thank you so much for yeah, being with us. We really you. appreciate it.